Living a full life is something that all of us can learn from Norman Lloyd, the oldest actor in Hollywood. He has a legacy that has spread across four generations. Norman Lloyd is an American director, producer, and actor, and has been in the entertainment industry for nearly eight decades. Lloyd has worked in almost all key aspects of the entertainment industry, including theater, radio, movies, and television. Norman was born as Norman Perlmutter on November 8, 1914, into a Jewish family in Jersey City, New Jersey. Sadie Horowitz Perlmutter, uh, his mother, was a homemaker and a bookkeeper. While Max Perlmutter, his father, was an accountant who went on to become a furniture store proprietor and a salesman. Norman grew up in Brooklyn, New York with his two younger sisters. Lloyd's mother was blessed with good looks and was interested in theater. Because of that, she ended up taking Norman to dancing and singing lessons. He appeared as a child performer at women's clubs and vaudeville events and turned professional at the age of nine. At age 15, he finished high school and enrolled at the NYU University, or better known as New York University or NYU. He, however, dropped out of NYU after his sophomore year due to the effects of the Great Depression on his family and friends. His father also passed away at age 55 in 1945. When he was 17, year old, 17 years old, uh, Norman became an apprentice at NYC's Eva La Gallienne's Civic Repertory Theater under May Sarton's direction. He later joined Apprentice Theater of Sarton, located in New Hampshire, where he continued to study acting, along with May and Eleanor Flexner, who was her associate. The group performed a few plays in Boston at the New School for Social Research. Norman's stage performance was seen by Harvard Dramatic Club members, and they offered him a lead role in a play. After Sarton had to let go of her theater company, Norman auditioned for a Broadway play, Noah, which was produced by Andre Obe. He actually got selected, and it was his first show on Broadway. In the 30s, Lloyd did a lot of social theater. He also worked for the Federal Theater Project. He later became a charter member in the Mercury Theater, a repertory independent theater company founded by John Hausman and Orson Welles from the Federal Theater Project. He subsequently acted in a critically acclaimed and popular role in the Mercury Theater's 1937 play, Caesar. Another play, The Shoemaker's Holiday, was also a big hit which garnered Lloyd widespread recognition. In 1939, Norman joined Mercury Theater to work in the movie Heart of Darkness, which was produced by RKO Pictures. The project did not take off due to budget issues, unfortunately, and so Norman returned to New York. Wells and the other actors, however, they stayed back for another movie project, which actually turned out to be, well, Citizen Kane. <laughs> uh, Norman has time and again stated that he always regretted coming back to New York and not waiting for that other movie like the others did. Norman came back to Hollywood in 1942 and then played the role of a Nazi spy in the film Saboteur, which was directed by Alfred Hitchcock. This movie began a long and fruitful professional association and friendship between the two. In 1948, he then became an assistant director with the movie Arc of Triumph. Norman was almost going to be blacklisted by Hollywood after the war, but his film career was saved by Hitchcock, who then hired him as a director and associate producer for his TV series. Throughout the 1960s and 70s, Lloyd continued producing and directing different episodes for shows on TV. In the 1980s, he got the part of Dr. Daniel Oshlander in the TV show Saint Elsewhere, which is a popular TV drama that ran for about six seasons. The series featured a lot of actors who were then not pretty much very well known. I mean, you know, people like Howie Mandel, Denzel Washington, and so on. In 1989, he returned to acting in movies after nearly 10 years with the cult movie Dead Poet Society where he played the role of the headmaster of the school. In the later years, he had several guest TV star appearances in various shows, like, you know, for example, Star Trek, The Next Generation, Murder, She Wrote, The Practice, The Twilight Zone, and Wings, and so on. Norman's most recent film acting job was actually at age 99 in the 2015 movie Trainwreck. He was roped into playing a role in the TV series based on a commercial flight called Fly. Yes, you give me 100 and still work. <laughs> Don't we all uh, wish for that? Norman married actress Peggy Craven in 1936, and those two, they actually remained married for 75 years until she died on August 30th, 2011, at the very ripe old age of 98. The couple had two children, one of whom is actress Josie Lloyd. Norman is fond of playing tennis and has been doing so since he was eight years old. He stopped playing in only 2015 after he had kind of a bad fall. Norman Lloyd is pretty much the only person in the world who has seen uh, two global pandemics, which, you know, would be the Spanish flu in 1919 and COVID-19 now in 2019-2020.
He was only four years old during the Spanish flu and, you know, had to deal with that. Now he lives in Brentwood. The celebrated actor believes in having an open mind and finding positivity in everything he does. Here are a few of his quotes. First quote, the secret to being fit in the old age is an attitude. An attitude to find something positive in everything and everyone. Find something amusing in people. Not a bad quote. Next quote, even at this age, I ride my bike for half an hour a day. That's incredible. <laughs> uh, and then finally, uh, we should always be learning. We should always be curious. Good advice from somebody who's lived quite a long time in this world. Anyways, there you go. Thank you guys. Have a good one. Did you find this video helpful? If yes, please hit the like button. Subscribe to our channel for more videos like this, and press the bell icon for new videos.